What's good YouTube? It's your boy JD back with another NBA 2K25 video for you guys and I've been dropping a lot of builds lately for you and you guys have been asking the same thing. Show me the jump shot, show me the jump shot. So I got for you today a jump shot whether you were running on a smaller guard, a player that's 6'5 to 6'9 or even on a big man I got a few alternative jump shots for you there as well. So. All I ask is that you drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and let's get right into these jump shots. Let's go. So the first build I want to show you is going to be my Drew Holiday build. It's my 3 and D point. This one does have a 93 3 ball and 83 mid range. I only have it at an 80 right now, but I want to show you the jump shot that I've been using on this one, and then I'll show you an alternate as well if you don't have quite as high of a, a 3 ball. So. So here's the jump shot that I've been using on this build in particular. It's going to be Cam Thomas for the base, and then I'm using Devontae Graham and Steve Kerr with Devontae Graham 24%, Steve Kerr 76%, and then you can see I'm using push in the release speed at three quarters uh, right now. This is a very smooth jump shot. It's the one I've been using on this build pretty much since day one. Um, as you can see, all of the uh, numbers and everything look really good on it as well. You do need an 87 three ball or mid range, and I'm going to suspect anyway, if you have a build that's going to be under 6'5", you're probably going to meet one of those thresholds. So I'll show you a few clips using this jump shot, and then I'm going to show you an alternative as well if you don't quite have as high of a three ball or a mid range. So. So just a couple of quick clips. This is a very nice jump shot. I've been using it quite a bit and really I think you guys will enjoy it. So here's that second option. As you can see, this one is going to be the lower base Jayshon Tate with Oscar Robertson and Kyle Lowry as the uppers with Oscar Robertson being 70% and then Lowry at 30%. You do only need an 81 mid-range or a three ball for this particular build. So if you made a smaller build, maybe a Russell Westbrook build that's going to be more of a slasher or something like that. Um, that doesn't quite have as high of a mid-range or a three ball. This would be another option for you. I've only used it a handful of times, so I don't have a ton of clips for you. I'll show you a couple of the, the jump shots in the my core here just to kind of show you what it looks like and everything. But this is another very popular one for those of you that do have a lower three ball. So here on the my court, say what you want about the timing, but I just want to show you a couple of clips real fast using this Jayshon base jump shot, kind of what it looked like in case that's something that you guys wanted to use. I don't have any in-game clips of it. I did use it very early in the season, um, or in the year I should say, um, but I've been using this base with the Cam Thomas pretty much since then, but this is kind of what it looks like visually, you know, if you guys, like I said, have that lower three-point rating and whatnot, so let's go ahead and get into the next jump shots. All right, the next set of jump shots I have are going to be for all of you players that are 6'5 to 6'9. Uh, this was on my rebounding wing. You guys asked for this jump shot quite a bit, so I want to show this one to you here. Uh, real quick, just to show you again, remind you, this one does have an 85 mid-range and a 78 three ball currently. So those are the numbers that we're working with as far as the jump shot itself. What I am currently using on this build right here is this jump shot. It's going to be Torian Prince Base with Torian Prince upper release one and Michael Porter Jr. upper release two with the blending being 55% Prince and 45% Porter Jr. I use push on all of my jump shots for going max release speed. As you can see the grades on this are very good. A very smooth jump shot. Um, I use this on all of my 6.5 to 6.9 builds whether it's the Caruso build that you saw um, I have my Ray Allen build that I just did a recent video on. This is the same jump shot I use for all of those. Um, you do need just an 83 three ball or a mid range to get this jump shot. So you don't need a super high amount of shooting, but again, very smooth jump shot. I'll show you a few clips and then I'll show you an alternate version as well. So a few quick jump shot clips here uh, for this base. I really like this Torian Prince base. I've been using it on all of my builds that are in that 6.5, 6.9 six, area, uh, whether it be the Caruso build or the rebounding wing build or even my Larry Bird build. Um, I really like it. Nice smooth jump shot. I think you guys will like it too. So the ultimate version to that Torian Prince base is going to be this one right here. It's a very popular jump shot. If you guys like the T-Mac base from last year, this is going to be one since we don't have a T-Mac base yet that you could use. Um, it's kind of the uh, the Dime Store T-Neck jump shot, if you want to call it. It's going to be the Jarrett Culliver base with Sadiq Bay upper release 1 and Oscar Robertson upper release 2 with the blending being 40% Bay and 60% Oscar Robinson. As you can see, jump shot is an A-plus speed. Very smooth jump shot as well. I think Swag was using this one on one of his players. 
and everything. But uh, again, if you guys like that T-Mac jump shot, you could definitely do that. This one, again, only needs an 83 mid-range or a three ball. So if you have either one of those, here's another option for you. I don't have any in-game clips for it, but I'll show you in the my court just so you can kind of get an idea of what the jump shot itself looks like. All right, so here we are on the my court. I just wanted to take a few jump shots. I'll show you guys what that uh, Jarrett Culliver base looks like. As you can see, it's, it's very similar to the T-Mac. You kind of get that little lean back animation. You know, it's very tough to uh, get a nice, good contest and everything on it. As you can see, I'm, I'm breaking a couple of shots here. But visually, you get a rough idea of what it looks like. It is a, definitely a good alternative if you want something other than that Torian Prince base. So let's head over and we'll get into the big man jump shot. So I got three big man jump shots for you. These are all going to be on my Chet Holmgren build. It's a build I have not shown to you guys yet, so if you guys want to see the build, definitely let me know down below. But let's go ahead and get into these three jump shots. I got the one that I've been using, and then I got two alternatives that are very popular in the community as well, so let's get right into those. So the first jump shot is going to be uh, lower base Dwight Powell, and I'm currently using Michael Porter Jr. and LaMarcus Aldridge for the uppers. You can see MPJ 61% and LA 39%. I use push uh, as far as the timing goes. In the release speed, I'm going three quarters. You can see it's still an A. Pretty quick jump shot all in all, but I got a couple of clips using this jump shot, and then I'm going to show you a couple alternatives real quick as well. So here's a few clips with the uh, big man showing the jump shot. I did this one back in season one. I just wanted to get it wrapped up before I bring it to you guys. So I will bring the build soon to definitely be on the lookout for that. So the second jump shot is going to be, of course, a very popular one, the Jonathan Isaac base. Also using MPJ and LaMarcus Aldridge for the uppers on this one. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. 53%, LaMarcus 47%. You can see the stats and everything are very good. Uh, you only need an 83 three ball or mid range to be able to unlock this jump shot. You can mess around with the releases if you want slightly lower uh, attributes, requirements, with whatever you want to call it, I guess, to get this jump shot. Um, again, very popular jump shot amongst the community with that Jonathan Isaac base. Very smooth, um, high release point and everything. So that's the second jump shot. Let's get into the third one real quick and then we'll wrap this thing up. So back here in the my court, just to visually show you what that Jonathan Isaac base looks like. Again, it's a it's a very like straight up and down type of a jump shot. Very high release point. Uh, obviously, very nice to have on a big man. Uh, I've been using this one a little bit. I kind of mix and match between this one. Uh, I use this one on my Paulo Bancaro build, if you guys remember that. Uh, I also use it a little bit on this Chet build. I kind of go back and forth between a couple of these different jump shots, but wanted to show you the Jonathan Isaac one real quick. So the third and final one I have for you is going to be more for like your stretch type builds or if maybe you have a high mid range you do need an 85 um, mid range or three point shot for this one. It's going to be the Chris Bosch base again very popular base uh, amongst the community. I'm again using LaMarcus Aldridge as one of the upper releases. Um, I'm also using Dwayne Deadman on the second release for this one. Push timing as well, release speed all the way up with the blend being 62% LA and 38% Dwayne Deadman. Again, very nice jump shot for me. It's, I used it a little bit on this chat build early on, um, but I, at least visually for me, I don't like that little leg kick on the Chris Bosch jumper. I like the other ones that's a little bit smoother, but again, completely personal preference for you on what you would like to do. So. All right, so back here in the my court, just wanted to show you guys again kind of what that Chris Bosch base jump shot looks like. Again, it's a pretty smooth jump shot all in all. There's a couple of weird animations. You see that one right there. You kind of get a weird leg kick, so it's personal preference, but the jump shot itself is very smooth, as you can see. So if you do have an 85, you know, uh, mid-range or a three ball, it definitely suggests that you try it out. And so that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys will find a jump shot that will help you out. Um, again, let me know if you guys want to see this Chet Holmgren build down below. I'll definitely bring that to you guys as well. Um, again, appreciate you for sticking around. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. We're also close to that 5,000 subscriber mark. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.